Welcome, everybody, to yet another episode of The Fermi Paradox. Um, we've had quite the long episode last time, and I apologize for that. I was just really wanted to get to when they made contact, because I knew it would either happen that episode or the episode after. Um, speaking of the episode after, this episode, let's get into it. I don't want to waste a lot of time just, just chatting, so we'll go for our normal, like, roughly 20 minutes-ish, maybe a bit more. You know how that goes. Also, I got a slight new thing from my model. Um, some denim and stuff. Um, I went on Booth to get it. It was really, really cool to, like, see all the cool work that everybody's doing. <clears throat> work that I could not do, so I appreciate all of it. <laughs> oh, God. Please. Okay, there we go. I just started my computer. It doesn't like doing this stuff when I just start it. Planets are taking shape. Alright, um, let's start with the Damani. The Damani discover a new cre uh, creation pattern and allows them to design wondrous artifacts. The Goliath system major democracy. Uh, democratic robocracy falls from influence. The Wandorians want to develop new media to communicate the history of their civilization, which is a rough one. Um, superliminal age technology enables Shavans to harvest anomalies and um, antimatter adjacent from the Ross system. Alright, development that. AI in the Vex system has long been more intelligent than any Damani could hope to be and has continued to improve itself progressively. Seeing this, the Damani Democratic Circuits grant power to an artificial intelligence to govern all orbital or habitats. Alright, let's hope for the best here. Um, Rolling artificial intelligence for strict tools based on mathematical concept and maximum utility. Life is peaceful but often hollow and unfulfilling. Um, the government, <laughs> the govern governing artificial intelligence is able to non-invasively monitor and assist every Damani. It becomes more of a mentor and a friend than a ruler. Let's do that. Damani more than death, a great leader. Discoveries await us in the Glyce system. Plant growth on Tau City 3 slowly changes the plant's atmospheric composition. Is there an alien life somewhere in the Rigel system? Or elsewhere in the Rigel system? And will it ever invade Rigel 7? Or a human colonial expedition fusion engineer dies. Uh oh, that's not cool. Um, decorated Amani crowdsourced starship sage captain retires from service. The Kular Regime's new technological age. They have reached the nuclear age. Damn, they're going quick. When rocket technology begins to take off, the race for space dominance amongst the emer emerging power superpowers. Oh my god, I cannot speak today. Um, of Rigel 7 is on. Jet planes increase the potential for travel all over the globe, and nuclear age communication technology allows news and entertainment to spread via mass media as the Kular delve into the secrets of the atom threat of extinction looms ever heavier on the horizon. Um, we'll go advancement. Cybernetic soldiers are recounting war stories about the battle against road and Thomas drones resource crisis. Radioactive deposits are becoming scarce in the Rigel system. The effect of world wars brought the Kular civilization to the breaking point. While they are dealing with uh, the resources, the resource scarcity, will the states find a way to prevent complete exhaustion of their environment and where they turn against each other? Let's see! <laughs> um, crisis... We'll go precaution, because it's zero. Conservation in Rigel. 
counter the scarcity of radioactive deposits in Rigel. The city planners of the Kular are taking control of their states. Will they be able to control societies better equipped to deal with world wars? I hope I read that right. Kind of skimmed it, I won't lie. Um, we'll go uh, regular development. Alright. Oh, Mondorian communities. Let's see. They're building spaceships. Yes! <laughs> it's so good to see them doing well. It's so good to see them doing well. Uh, prison expedition. Wait, what? Wait. I didn't read that. What did that say? <laughs> um, under silent changes to the international... Constitution, a 5,000% spike in criminal behavior is found across Kepler 4. Four. Prisoners are too, uh, prisons are too full, but a fleet of unused expeditionary spa uh, space vessels might provide an emergency detainment alternative. We'll do that. Epic project. Oh, that is freaking cool. So it looks like they're heading towards Rigel. Are more in the death of beloved secretary. Okay, so from what I can tell, because I didn't read that, I saw prison expedition, but I had already pressed go, so I, I completely missed that. So they are sending prisoners on colonization ships, and what I just did was made it so that a bunch of not prisoners made it. All right, that's all I needed to know. That's all I think I need to know. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Major species Noxar has begun to interbreed. Cooler Secretary rises to power in Rigel 7. Unique experimental science bot models tragically destroyed. Prune robot programmers express gratitude for your experiments, contributions, scientific knowledge. Human colonization, human colonial expedition destination reached. Made contact with the Prune Democratic Robocracies. After numerous years of travel, the human colonial expedition has finally arrived at its destination. Preliminary scans verify that the Glyce system is inhabited by the prune species. Will the humans decide to make contact with the prune democratic hypocrisies? And will this historic encounter lead to peace between both people or end in death and misery? Mm. Uh, we'll go observation. The human colonial expedition observes the prune democratic robocracies from a safe distance, determining whether the prune pose a threat or if the risk is outweighed by the potential advances. The human colonial expedition is trying to destroy Glyce. Humans do not uh, like what they see when they observe the customs and social structures of the prune democratic robocracies. They fundamentally detest the inhabitants of Glyce so much that they yearn to completely wipe out the prune. They duly begin heavy bombardment with plasma detonators that will make Glyce system uninhabitable for centuries. Oh my god, guys, come on! <laughs> You travel across the stars. You travel across the stars, deal with unimaginable hardship. And then you decide, you know what? I'm just gonna glass this planet. What the hell, guys? What the hell? Um. Uh, uh, launching a myriad. Well, I see the bombardment they make will turn the desert planet into wasteland. The bombardment will make. Okay, victory, prune, successfully defend, defeat human expeditionary system. Um, safe attack. Hopefully, the prune win.
Are we living in community simulation? I hope not. All right, so they're still alive. They're still alive at least. Okay, that's that's good. Expeditionary fleet development event. An armed conflict threatens the Wandor. Great, great. Tyrannical officer in charge of a ship's claim potential territories and Rigel Seven for their crew. This may lead to civil war amongst the Wandorian prisoner prison expeditionary fleet. Um, we'll go peace. Right, this is, is this episode going to be like the, the last couple ones where it's just me putting out fires over and over and over again? Ugh, the Bruin create phenomenal simulation of their civilization's history. All right. What discoveries await, await us in the Kali system? have reached the superliminal age. All right. Breaking all previous theoretical boundaries, the humans are now able to construct jump gates that allow faster than light travel. <clears throat> Multiple jumps uh, to distant stars can still take um, a long time, but a radical new understanding of science and engineering opens up a wealth of possibilities, not only FTL travel, but also the establishment of fast interplanetary Interplanetary communication grids, black hole harvesting, and antimatter creation. Um, we'll go wisdom. All right. You know, I'm gonna be honest here. The Damani crowdsource starship is going to reach the Gly system, and the Prune are going to want no part in any of that. They're going to be like, get the F away. Because <laughs> oh. the last time they had anything, any new people showed up, they started bombing the planet. Um, oh, okay, did not mean to do that. So it looks like they're now heading towards the Damani. Consumption and Ross. Okay. In recent years, large pool, uh, large cool patches have begun to appear in the photosphere of Ross. Over time, this reduces the star's energy output. The Shivan blockchain specialists grow concerned. It's almost noon. Why am I yawning? Over time, this reduces the star's energy output. Enough that okay, concerned. Uh, experts gather to discuss if this is a natural phenomenon or whether their own tampering might be to blame. Um, well, I don't have enough to prevent it. So we'll go regular development. Really circulated amongst the prune. Superliminal age technology allows humans to harvest anomalies and antimatter adjacent to the soul system. <sighs> Resource crisis? Are you serious? Okay, okay. It's it's the prison fleet. It's not the the main group. Okay, I'm I'm more happy about that. I want Mondora to survive. Uh, resource storage uh, are becoming scarce amongst the Wandorian prison expedition fleet. The effects of reactor depletion brought the crew to a breaking point. While they are dealing with the resource scarcity, will the captain find a way to prevent the complete exhaustion of the ship's resources, or will it end in mutiny and violence? Um, uh, I guess we're rolling the dice with Crisis. <sighs> with the resources becoming rare, the captain of the Wandorian prison expedition fleet is preparing for the worst. Protecting the fading resources at all costs, cybernetic soldiers are deployed next to vital support systems, and crew are too preoccupied preparing for conflict to actually try and solve the crisis. Great job, guys. You're doing great. Strong hostility. Okay, I just want to make sure that there's still growth going on. Spans. Humans more than death and T matter specialist. Let's 
state-of-the-art AI learning on Vexus. Um, <laughs> Demonic cats, look at them. They're like, yeah, we made it. Make contact with Brune Democra democratic robocracies. Numerous years of travel, the Demonic cry uh, crowds crowdsource starship has finally reached its destination. Preliminary scales, uh, scans, not scales, scans, verify that the Glyce system is inhabited by the Prune species. Will the Demani decide to make contact with the Prune? Uh, and will this historical counter lead to peace between both people and in death and misery? Um, we'll go with observation. I really hope, I really freaking hope that uh, the Prune don't get bombarded a second freaking time. <laughs> the Damani and the Prune are fighting over the dominance of the Glyce system. Before the Prune, democratic robocracies can detect the Damani crowdsourced starship, the alien leader decides to start a quick preemptive strike so as not to destroy the valuable resources on Glyce Sea. The Vanders deploy primary uh, cybernetic soldiers and minimize the use of, nuclear, of neutron bombs. The war over control of Glyce Sea has begun. The poor Prune. The poor Prune. I feel so freaking bad for them. Um. Um. The Demani invaders make a rush against the defenses of Glyce and attempt to defeat the native AI commandos and military space fortresses in open battle with the goal to occupy the desert planet. I think we're going to do this one. Um, because it looks like um, the Prune are going to win either way. Oh, no, I, I did that wrong. The aliens from the Vex surrendered to the Glyce... Uh, oh wait, the aliens from the Vex surrendered to the Glyce Democratic Boxes, overpowered and outnumbered the native prune secure the remains. The alien ship can find the uh, surviving Demonis. The prune turns turn ruins as makeshift prisons for the alien interstellar visitors. Um Um... We'll go with release. After robotic programmers and ethnic, um, ethic systemizers of the Prune learn what they could from the alien prisoners, they plead to the robotic uh, integrators of the Prune democratic hypocrisies to release the money and let them retreat to the soul system. We'll do that. Development event. Okay, let's see what they want. Demani growth. Okay, so they they just got their asses kicked by the prune, and they're like, you know what? Let's have more kids. Um, raise new offspring during their journey towards the soul system. The birth rate crew rises faster than old Demani uh, perish. Is there enough space on their ship to host everybody? I just imagine the prune or the the vex the Demani um, returning to the. Um, returning to the freaking um soul system being like so we invaded a planet and the un or whoever's in control being like you did what <laughs> all right new technological age they've reached the super liminal age breaking all previous theoretical boundaries the pruner are able to construct jump gates that allow faster light travel multiple jumps to distant stars can still take a long time but a radical new understanding of science and engineering opens up a wealth of possibility not only ftl travel but also the establishment 
of fast interplanetary communication grids, black hole harvesting, and antimatter creation. Alright. Oh god. Okay. Okay, I don't know if it's gonna show up on on your side of things, but my computer just froze for a second, and I was like, oh god, please, no. Um, wisdom. Alright. Um, Pruna Harvest Anomalies. I wanna... Go here. I want to make sure that they have enough growth to freaking survive. Okay. Do that. Just one one thing of growth. Come on. Come on. Okay. Come on. Give me something. Give me something to work with here. It's just like the last time. All right, colonial expedition uh, event. Human knowledge. Human fusion engineers collected valuable data during their journey on the human colonial expedition. After many years of analysis, the research engineer is on the verge of a breakthrough, but is dying and requires all research colonist crew to be assigned to the project. Um, we'll go regular development here. And I think that is probably where I'll end today's episode. Um, yeah, main menu. Um, thank you all for tuning in today. We had a very interesting event with uh, with the prune dealing with two invasions. One ended with a lot of death. The other one ended with them capturing some aliens. Um, so hopefully uh, next episode will not be as... Um, eventful for the prune. I feel so freaking bad for them. Um, I also feel sorry for the Vex because eventually, or the Damani, because they're gonna, they're gonna deal with the, uh, with the humans who bombarded the planet. But, um, thank you all for tuning in. I stream on Twitch on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, Monday is Mass Effect. Wednesday is We Have a Few. Friday is Dishonored. Um, Thank you all for tuning in, and I will see you all next time.